so we do an uh, a loop here so actually this is not the place to do the loop the loop should go in here now to ensure that uh, we don't select because if I add some stuff here just some gibberish in this option and come back here and refresh the page okay uh, refresh here if I click here and you see that immediately the category that's first is showing there so we don't want this we want it to be empty first then the user can actually choose something so we leave this empty and we do a loop here so to do a loop let's put our PHP tags there and we'll put an if statement we'll say if is no dollar sign there is array categories like so if it's an array right now I don't want to use this format because I want to use uh, HTML in here so what I would do is I'll put a full column and close that like so and then always remember to put the end if like that okay good now we'll do the same thing to do a for each loop here so I'll duplicate these two push them in and then end for each so I'll copy the if statement and write for each like so so for each categories oops what have I done as category let's just do categ like that just so we don't mix it up with other variables okay so right here we need to echo out an option like this one so I'm just going to do that but in here we will put the categ but that will be the categ um, wait a minute wait a minute so it's category and ID those are the two things we need so let me come back here and say category I obviously need my PHP tags here Ooh, what have I done question mark equals like that and then let me save this let me come back here for a second let's refresh click add oh something wrong what have I done wrong what have I done wrong so end for each and if that looks uh, okay what have I done there we go there we go okay uh, this looks uh, okay but why isn't it working Hmm. Okay, so let me remove these for a second. Mm -hmm. So that seems to be where the problem is, right there. So maybe it's on these ones. Let's do that. So we can narrow it down. Okay, so that's exactly where the problem is, right here. So option category wait a minute what's happening here let me copy this Let me do that. Let me see what's inside here. Okay. Let me cut that out. Let's do it from the uh, controller, shall we? Let's see what we've got. Why is it acting like this? Oh, okay. That's because it's an object. Sorry about that.
So let's come back to products here. Okay, so this is turned to an arrow and we remove that part. All right, so that should work. Refresh, add item, and there we go, category. Now, what we don't want is to send these values as they are. We don't want to use the category as text, okay? What we want is to use the category as an ID. We just need to get the ID of the category to know what it is because category names can change at any time. So it would be a good idea to refer to them using their IDs instead of the actual category name. But that's entirely up to you. You can uh, do that if you want, but it's better to use the ID. So what we will do here is right there, we'll put value and set it to the ID. So I'll copy this, put it there, and then just uh, ID there, like so. Okay, I think uh, ooh, that should do it. Let's come back here and see. Okay, so things are looking good. Let me click on cars and let's inspect the element. Let's make sure that the select has the values of the IDs here, which is actually true. So we are good to go. All right, so the preparation has uh, happened. Now let's just put some required here for the sake of, uh... yeah, so autofocus and then required. Now here we'll remove autofocus because we don't want uh, this to be, instead uh, let's put required. Select, uh, we require this one as well. And what else? Um, the price is also required. I'll do, I'll do that to edit two because the image one is also required, but the others are not required. So let's just delete the autofocus here on the rest of these. Good. Okay, so there we go. So all this information should be added, except uh, with the one image at least, these other ones are optional. All right, so this is looking good. Like that, and the price there, and an image yes good all right so in the next video we'll look at how to actually make this work see you then